Hi guys, recently I covered a story where the BBC had edited out the word Brexit from an interview with the head of the National Farmers Union in Scotland. Well, other media outlets seem to be covering the impact of Brexit on a number of industries in Scotland. An outlet that focuses on fishing spoke to a number of people about how Brexit has impacted their sectors. As we know, since the ending of freedom of movement, many industries have been struggling to get their hands on the workers they need. And there have even been cases of companies using backdoor methods to recruit staff away from jobs they're currently employed in. However, like the heavy goods vehicle driver crisis of 2021, there has been a push to ease the restrictions on workers from abroad. Tavish Scott, the chief executive of Salmon Scotland, said that he wants the UK government to add fish processing to the shortage occupation list in order to allow many firms to recruit workers from the EU. The fish processing industry is suffering from a workforce squeeze, particularly in the farm raised salmon sector. Scott wrote a letter to George Eustace, the Secretary of State for DEFRA, along with other heads of industry, calling for a new report by Westminster's Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Committee to be implemented urgently. One of the recommendations is for the government in London to work with leaders in a number of industries to deal with the worker shortage and also develop a long-term plan. The letter, signed by Salmon Scotland, Quality Meat Scotland, Seafood Scotland, Food and Drink Scotland and the National Farmers Union Scotland, issued a warning that the food and drink industry, like that in England, is suffering from acute labour shortages. In the letter they said, This labour force issue is affecting the ability of our producers and manufacturers to serve customers both at home and abroad, restricting growth and curbing exports. We've seen over the last year how producers can't get access to the staff they need. They then send produce abroad for processing, have it returned to Great Britain for packing and sale to wholesalers or directly to supermarkets. This was famously highlighted in a case of beef being sent to Ireland for processing. In another case which I covered on the channel some months ago was how turkeys were being imported directly by supermarkets and distributors in the UK from places like Germany. This, of course, was terrible news for UK-based producers. The letter went on to say, The committee makes a number of recommendations, including a call for government to work with industry to address labour shortages and develop a new long-term strategy to ease the situation for years to come. We support the committee's recommendations and call on you and your department to deliver the step change requested by the MPs. Our members have the ability to thrive and help the country recover from both the long-term effects of COVID and the additional costs of Brexit caused by non-tariff barriers. But to do this, we need proper access to labour, and this can only come with the help and support from the government. Now, I've covered this before, and it seems that the book doesn't actually stop with George Eustace, meaning that he's pretty useless. But the ultimate decision is made by Priti Patel's department, and she doesn't seem interested in budging. The letter continues, Salmon Scotland is pleased to be part of this joint effort to call for more help from the government to alleviate labour force issues affecting the food and drink sector. Fish processing, particularly in farm-raised salmon, is suffering from a labour squeeze, and we want government to help by implementing the recommendations in the committee's report. Once again, I think George Eustace knows about these problems, but he's also a Brexiteer, an ex ukipper who has lied to farmers and fishermen for years. So I think both the fishermen and the fish producers are pretty much screwed here. They don't really have anyone on their side, and even if they did, Priti Patel is the one who decides. Uh, she's the one who controls the tap to the number of visas issued. They end the letter with this. Salmon Scotland believes fish processing should be added to the short-term occupation list. This would make it easier to recruit labour from the EU. So, farmers, fishermen and the respective industries in England have been pretty much forgotten by Boris Johnson's government. So the chances of Eustace Patel and Johnson moving to help Scotland seem even more remote. We have seen since the beginning of Brexit, the time after the end of the transition period, that the approach from the Brexiteer government has been pretty much hands-off. Let businesses deal with the problems themselves. Let companies find a workaround. 
My fear is that this approach will also be taken when it comes to farming and fishing along with the other industries that are connected to both of these sectors. You're on your own seems to be the response from government, and sectors like these will find it pretty tough going over the next number of years. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.